Electra Synchrotrone Trieste operates two advanced light sources available to the international research community, the storage ring Electra and the free electron laser Fermi. Our facilities host more than 30 experimental stations, which cover nearly all the aspects of photon science and techniques applied to a broad range of scientific disciplines. Among these, X-ray microscopy plays an important role, with six dedicated beam lines. In this field, X-rays have opened unprecedented opportunities in terms of spatial resolution, chemical and structural sensitivity. The nanospectroscopy beamline at Electra operates the SPELIM, a powerful end station for the analytical characterization of nanostructured materials and composite interfaces, combining X-ray photomission with low-energy electron microscopy. The SPELIM offers the widest range of analytical investigation methods for structural, chemical and magnetic characterization of surfaces and interfaces used to perform conventional X-ray spectroscopies in a laterally resolved manner. Of the electromagnetic spectrum covered by Electra, which ranges from infrared to high-energy X-rays, the nanospectroscopy beamline operates from UV up to 1000 electron volt, thanks to its undulated source and variable line grade in monochromator. The spectroscopic photomission and low-energy microscope is the dream of every surface scientist. It's all there, several important complementary techniques in just one instrument. First comes X-beam, giving access to the chemical state and electronic structure of surfaces and interfaces. Then we have LEAM, providing high structure sensitivity and acquisition at video frame rate. LEAM is just the perfect means to monitor dynamical processes at surfaces, for example, growth processes, self-assembly, phase transition, and also surface chemical reactions. A striking example is provided by striped phase transitions, where ad atoms form patterns that are periodic and ordered on surfaces, driven by the interplay between short-range and long-range dipolar interactions. Now combine LIM with microlead and you will be able to monitor the evolution of surface structure from the atomic scale to mesoscopic wavelengths. Besides imaging, the SPELIM instrument can also perform microprobe diffraction from micro-sized regions, selected using suitable field-limiting apertures. The microscope can be switched from imaging to diffraction within seconds. Researchers are thus able to observe the low-energy electron diffraction pattern or the angle-resolved photoemission pattern from tiny microscopic regions depending on whether X-rays or electrons are used as probe. Microprobe spectroscopy is yet another operation mode. It provides a useful complement to LEAM, enabling us to follow the evolution of the chemistry of complex interfaces, for example alloys, during growth and thermal treatment. Ten years after opening the beamline to external users, nanospectroscopy is still at the front line. We strive to keep the pace on the instrumental side, maintaining the instrument at state of art. Our microscope reaches 10 nanometers in LIM and 30 nanometers lateral resolution in XP. The recent addition is a new reaction chamber for catalysis experiments in the millibar range, where we use mass spectrometry to monitor the reaction products under realistic reaction conditions, bridging the well-known pressure gap between ultra-high vacuum and ambient reaction conditions. SPLIM is the perfect means to investigate low-dimensional systems, uh, uh, such as ultra-thin films, uh, surfaces, nanostructure surfaces and interfaces, and layered systems. Uh, a particular example has been graphene. XPIM and LIM have been heavily used to study its electronic and structural properties. Another area of key importance uh, has been magnetism. So magnetism takes advantage of the polarization control by the beamline photon source, two Sasaki type undulators. Magnetic imaging is one of the most successful applications of PIM at synchrotrons. So not so surprisingly, magnetism accounts for about half of our activities. 
the Beamline welcomes a heterogeneous community of researchers from diverse fields such as nanotechnology, surface science and chemistry, material science and magnetism in particular. In 10 years, about 150 proposals for experiments have been approved and carried out, producing top-tier publications in international peer-reviewed journals. The nanospectroscopy beamline can be accessed by submitting an experiment proposal to the Electra Review Panel. The beamline personnel can be contacted for further details.